Uh, tell me, Coach, what does it mean to coach the Sierra Canyon team? Oh, it's a blessing and a privilege. Um, I mean, I know everybody in this, you know, outside of here says that it's a lot of pressure, uh, and it is a lot of pressure, but, you know, when you want to be great, uh, nothing's going to be easy. Uh, but it is a privilege uh, for me to coach these guys. Uh, this year's team is wonderful, um, so I'm super excited about it. I wasn't really trying to dunk, I couldn't really, I mean, I was kind of like one of those shorter people, I mean, so I saw everyone else dunking and layup points, I was like, I gotta do it, so I just worked out and eventually got the bounce, and, I mean, it feels good to do it in layup points. You did, you did, you got better than me, you got better than me. If not improved. Right, throw me the ball. Throw me the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Like my top three choices and top three center for my college. So, so I think it's a really, really I feel like every year I just took it step by step. I mean, focusing on the small details from diving on the floor to being a pest on defense to knowing every play on offense. So I just feel like I have to do the things that everyone else isn't doing. So, and also I just feel like I have to, I mean, be a point guard. I mean, facilitate the team, tell everyone where to go. No, back and then back to like play, play in front of thousands of people. And you know, just, just like focusing on your game is gonna like really prepare you for the next level. Tough at first, but once we, I mean, get closer with them, you know, 
have that bond. I feel like we're, like, we're all like, brothers, like we're one connected team. So with all these new people coming in, I try to embrace it. I mean, if you don't, not every day you get to play with like three, five stars. So it's good experience to get better to the next level. Like this on the Thank you so much. I need another um, light skin ass photo like that. I think it's a dream come true. Well, it is. Is that bomb or what? Of course. <laughs> Every day. Every day. Just to keep from watching to be able to accomplish this and uh, have this opportunity is surreal. We were so really hungry. Uh, so I guess we can say that's the difference because obviously last year they were very hungry but they were satisfied with it, right? Uh, but most teams that win a championship that they're satisfied forever. So this group's still winning on them. And I think that they want to do even better than they did last year. And the question is, well, how do you do that? And I guess for us, it just has to be that we go on the feet. We push them, they push us, we push them, they push us. We just have to keep thinking of creative things, competitive things, that yeah. yeah. allow them to just continue Perfect. to get better. Um, and yeah, we have talked about it. You know, obviously, great players you know, make me a better coach. But I think that obviously we have more than just one kid. So we dunk it. Dunk it, Chris. Dunk it. Dunk it. Dunk it. So that's a different question. What are Juju's weaknesses? Um, yeah, I think I think Juju learned her lesson about about foul trouble in big games, but you know that story is to be told still. Um, also, can we leave that in the past, please? <laughs> She's uh, you know, lots of lessons to learn in basketball, but yeah, that's the thing. I would disagree with conditioning being being an issue for her. I mean, Athletes, like, I coach, but we expect a lot from her on both sides of the floor, so you're gonna get tired of um, the way we play and how hard she plays. She's gonna get, she's gonna get tired a little bit, and I don't give her breaks, unfortunately. So uh, that might be you know, some some signs of fatigue. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm super excited about it. I think uh, you know one of the, one of my dreams in life is to make the valley, the valley, the mecca of basketball in Los Angeles. And I think that uh, us moving into this league, I mean, it to be uh, not only do we have great players, but we have great coaches. I mean, I don't think we should go to the Bulls. You know, it's like a great league. Uh, I find great coaches. Every single coach in my mind, this league is a great coach. Uh, so you know, we have to prepare at a high level uh, because we know that they're preparing at a very high level. Uh, so that's only going to make us better, uh, especially when it comes to the Man, behind the camera. Who's uh, Being in such a competitive league is going to prepare us to deal with uh, the night in and night out rigor uh, of playing uh, in the open league. Um, our, our league pretty much is the open league in my mind. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be very challenging, but it's going to be fun. Open up for me, 45 minutes. Well, speaking of great coaches, uh, I was just talking about Kamal and Centennial. Okay, you got to real time. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a silly, I know what you're talking about, though. Uh, they have a great coach. Uh, and over the last three years, I think they've had a lot of strong talent because they've been together since they were tall. Uh, and they've grown together. So there's something to being together for a while, uh, 
Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that.
Andre Chevalier, 
head coach Sierra Canyon, A-N-D-R-E, C-H-E-V-A-L-I-E-R. Uh, tell me, Coach, what does it mean to coach the Sierra Canyon team? Oh, it's a blessing and a privilege. Um, I mean, I know everybody in this, you know, outside of here says that it's a lot of pressure, uh, and it is a lot of pressure, but, you know, when you want to be great, uh, nothing's going to be easy. Uh, but it is a privilege uh, for me to coach these guys. Uh, this year's team is wonderful, um, so I'm super excited about it. Uh, what is the biggest advice that you gain as a coach here or as a person, just as your culmination of being a coach here? Be patient. Just be patient and recognize that, you know, things are going to work out and play out the way that they're supposed to, um, as long as you're giving your greatest effort. Um, what does this season mean to you? Every season means everything to me, right? Because it, it is the journey that I get to go on with a new set of uh, young men. Um, and because I'm so, you know, um, locked into mentorship, uh, every year is a great journey. So I'm excited about the year. I'm super excited about where this team can go. Um, but I'm learning in my life uh, to embrace the journey uh, and not to be caught up on a single day. Um, so it's a privilege and I'm excited about it. And what has been the main message heading into this season? Keep everybody accountable, um, stay locked in the culture, and play for each other. What do you think is the biggest criticism of your team? That we're flashy, um, that we think that we're better than everyone, uh, that we have uh, lots of money, uh, and so our kids aren't hungry. Yeah, Sierra Canyon is the biggest name in high school basketball. How do you stay locked in mentally as a coach? Uh, you know, we understand what our goal is, right? We want to have fun and enjoy um, every day, um, but we work hard. And I think that, you know, sometimes people think that our journey is easy and they watch us on television and clips and they think that it's easy here, uh, but it's hard here. Uh, we want it the hard way. Uh, and so, you know, we know that that's what it's going to take for us to be successful. And who do you think is the player to watch this year? Uh, it's a lot of players to watch. Um, obviously, brought in his senior year. Um, Isaiah is going to be a phenomenal when he comes off injury. And then I think Jimmy and Ashton are going to be special. But I um, mean, I think we have some young guys that's going to show up in some big games. Uh, and so I'm excited about it. Yeah, going away from the basketball game. What does a game day look like for you from start to finish? For me as an individual? Yeah, when you wake up to... Uh, well, I wake up, every day that I wake up, I do meditation. Um, I exercise. Um, I try to, you know, just vision uh, great things happening in my day. Uh, then I get up, I, I'll meet with coaches and talk to coaches. Uh, then we get into our game routine. Um, you know, we have, we have shoot around, we have pregame meal, uh, we watch film. Uh, and then, you know, I, I take an hour or so uh, to take a shower, uh, to relax and get myself mentally prepared for the game. And what is your favorite food on game day? I don't have a favorite food on game day. It's hard for me sometimes on game day because I'm pretty much vegan. Uh, so I have to always fight for a good meal. Uh, but I'll say if I can get salmon or uh, some white fish, uh, some rice and some vegetables, then uh, that, that'll be a great meal for me on game day. And do you have any uh, superstitions before any game? No superstitions, none whatsoever. And what or who really brings this team together? Uh, I, think, I think the friendship and love that they have for each other uh, brings the, the group together. Um, and there's not a who uh, in particular because they all have special talents. Uh, some, make them, some, some, some guys can make people laugh. Some got the right music. Uh, some rock the, the right clothes. Uh, so it, it's, a, it's a, a team affair. All right, and um, that's it. That's all good. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. All right, bro. Take it easy. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe, and don't forget to follow Quick 11 Hoops.